Welcome back. Welcome back to the Daily Mastermind. George Wright III here with your daily dose of inspiration, motivation, and education. I'm really excited to be on Facebook Live today, but I also am going to be streaming to a couple of our other platforms as well. Um, so those of you that can join us, great. But I want to talk to you today about how to face life's challenges. It's sort of this art of acceptance. Um, but I want to start out with the quote of the day from the Daily Mastermind mobile app. It's from Dave Ramsey. If you think you can or you can't, you're right. I love that quote. And uh, let me tell you why I came up with this topic today. One of the reasons I came up with this topic of the art of acceptance, I was on my way actually in, in about an hour to hit the airport. I just got back from visiting parents in Arizona, but I also had the opportunity to run down to Texas and visit my son, Isaac, who is in the Air Force base down there, Goodfellow Air Force Base. And he just texts me literally before I was going to the airport to tell me that they've locked the entire base down uh, because of the um, COVID uh, spike that they had in San Angelo, Texas. And so he was obviously very disappointed because since he's been to boot camp and things, he hasn't had very many visitors. And, and I had booked uh, about 1500 bucks in travel. And so it's not the most exciting scenario to run into. You know, he was really bummed and disappointed. So was I. But at the same token, you have to learn to be able to face all these little challenges and things that happen in life. And so I really feel like when you learn to accept things that happen in your life rather than dwell on them and, and sit in the moment with them, it, it's going to make your life a lot more enjoyable. So of course, I'm bummed. I'm bummed I'm not going to be able to go down and hang out with him, even though I don't, I don't know that there's a whole lot to do in San Angelo. Uh, we were certainly going to have some fun doing it with him and his buddies from the Air Force Base. Um, but with that said, I thought, you know, let's look at some ways and some reasons and, and some strategies for learning to accept what's going on in your life because we have so many things right now right and so i came up with some ideas and i you know i did a little research i put some thoughts down and i want to kind of list them out to you and just maybe give you some some framework to be able to deal with and accept more things in life for you as well the first thing i thought about is that we need to learn to turn towards reality rather than away from it um we've got you know so many of us are living in the past or we're stressed and, and anxious about the future we have to learn to let go of the past and that's a difficult thing, but, but we have to learn the acceptance of things that have happened in the past. And we'll talk a little bit about changing your filter for that, and that'll help you. But also, we have to maintain, especially as entrepreneurs and, and business owners and individuals that are driven personalities, like I'm sure you are if you've watched or listened to the podcast for The Daily Mastermind, we have to learn to have vision for the future, but not let it rob us of the joy of the present. So we have to learn to focus on the present moment if we're going to accept what's going on in our life more. And I love the quote by Wayne Dyer. Um, you know, he talks about, I don't know the exact quote, but in his book, he talks about when I look back on the tapestry of my life and I have more perspective, things sort of come into place. It's easier to understand why certain things happen when you look back on the tapestry of your life. So it's important for us to know that what used to be hard is now going to be easier. What used to, when we used to be weak, we can now be stronger. You know, we're the masters of our life and we need to be able to remember that. And that'll help us to learn to live in the moment and know that we'll make it through. Another thing that I wanted to uh, talk about was how we should embrace what is rather than what could be, or we wish could be. The, the Dalai Lama had a great quote where he said, happiness is not having what you want. It's wanting what you have. And that's a tough thing for us to do, especially when we're driven with this blissful dissatisfaction of wanting more in the future, but uh, being okay with what we have right now. So you have to take the good with the bad. You have to change your filter on things. And rather than saying, boy, I wish I woulda, coulda, shoulda, or I wish I had this, you, you practice more gratitude for what you have in the presence. Another thing that I think would help us, would help us to be able to have more acceptance is to be able to slow down a bit and just take our time. See, we're always in such a huge hurry. We're in such a huge hurry in life to become successful, to have things, to, to, to get to that level we want to get to, to get our business there, our relationship there. We force and force and force things. And we have to learn to let go. We have to let go of, you know, the past, but we also have to just, you know, live like we're in the moment. Because, you know, I, I grew up, entrepreneurial. And I kept hearing over and over and over, live now like, won't, like most won't so that you can live tomorrow like most can't. 
I just think that's a bunch of crap because why not live now like most won't and also like most can't because you're accepting the, the present. You have to learn to love your life. Um, and, you know, we, we talked in, in the past a little bit about how if you, if you continue to overestimate what you can do in a year, but you underestimate what you can do in five years, you're going to learn the hard way that you're going to continue to miss your goals. And so I think it's really important for you to learn to slow down, have some patience. I, I, should, I should clarify that. Not so much slow down your pace, but have patience in the results that you're expecting. That's, that's a really important thing to do. And then I mentioned before, in order to have greater acceptance and um, this art of acceptance, you got to practice gratitude. We talk about that and we think about that, but there's so much science that shows that your happiness level is going to grow significantly if you can learn to practice gratitude. And gratitude is one of those things that's a, a way to shift your perspective very quickly. If you start to say, let's say you're starting to get depressed or you're starting to feel anxious or stressed, just start thinking about all the things that you're thankful for. And there's so many, and I'm telling you right now, if you can only think of five or six or eight things, then you haven't been practicing gratitude very much. I encourage you to have a gratitude practice in your daily rituals and learn that as you, if you have this attitude of gratitude, more abundance is gonna be attracted into your life as well. And so I highly recommend uh, gratitude for learning to practice more acceptance and you know, creating the life that you wanna have. The other thing that is a tough one for most people, especially for me, a lot of people that will describe me will say, I'm not a very emotional guy. I don't share, show emotions. I, I have emotions, I just don't show them. But you've gotta to learn to embrace your feelings because feelings are what really help us to experience life. You know, hiding, compartmentalizing, um, you know, pushing those feelings way down and like that, that just doesn't ever work out to be a good thing. You have to learn to, you know, be, be, be in the feelings, you know, when you have heartbreak or when you have a bad experience or when you have uh, failures, because experiencing those emotions will give you greater joy experience in the positive emotions. And I know that it's, it's hard to understand that, but without our feelings, nothing really has a big significant impact on us. And so we need to learn to recognize our feelings as well and, and just kind of be there with them and, 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 uh, and prioritize feelings so that you know they're more important. I've started to do that more and more you know, as I've gone through life. Um, the other thing that I, I thought was a great way to practice the art of acceptance was um, accepting both success and failure. See, when you when you, you want success, that's great. But, it, but if you don't embrace failure, you're not going to accept the, the most important things in life because failure is what is really the gateway to success. That's what we've talked about. And as entrepreneurs, this is a really powerful lesson. And if we wait too long to learn this, then we're going to waste a lot of time because, uh, in fact, I, I, I had an article that I did with my partner, Robert Stuberg, um, where we talked about when failure is better than success because failure teaches you far more than success does. I'm not saying success doesn't teach you lessons, but it definitely learn more from failure. And so when you learn to appreciate that, when you learn to want the no's, want the failures, um, you're gonna grow faster. And that's just such an important thing to, uh, to keep in mind. And then the last thing that I feel like, you know, is, is probably a really good thing to keep in mind when you're trying to, you know, accept and you know, face life's challenges, it's so important to nurture your relationships. Because when you nurture your relationships, that's what's going to support you and maintain you and help you uh, when you're having the tough times. You know, I had a recent opportunity to go down and spend time with my parents in Arizona. Jaron and I took a flight down there. Um, and, it's, and it's great because you don't think about how fast time passes. And it's those little things that become the big things in life. And, uh, and I think that when you nurture key relationships, then you find that it's far more satisfying for you in life. Um, you got to learn to forgive. You got to learn to move on. Um, sometimes we hold these, you know, these grudges or these bad feelings. And so relationships get pushed off or get hurt. And it's so important to, to learn to move past and nurture and build your relationships because your network is your net worth. And the, the thing that's gonna be the most valuable to you in life is going to be your relationships. So, you know, that, that's really what I wanted to share with you today. That's, this is this whole idea of the art of acceptance and learning to, you know, just spend your life 
spending time and facing those challenges that hit you. And when you face those challenges that hit you with a different perspective, um, you're going to learn a lot from them. So that's my message for today. If you haven't downloaded the Daily Mastermind mobile app, like I said, we're going to have a whole bunch more added to that um, here over the coming weeks. We got a lot of actual downtime because most of my big events are, are over, even though we're pushing hard. We're going to be rolling out a mastermind program. So if you're interested in working in a small, tight group with myself and a couple of other seven, eight, nine figure um, uh, mentors, we're going to have a great mastermind group coming up. We're also going to be doing some very in-depth training with Forex, the foreign exchange markets, as well as stock, asset tax, and estate planning. So when you get inside our mastermind, obviously you get access to all the stuff that I get access to, which is great. So anyway, have an amazing week. Um, I will not be traveling, so that means I'll be back uh, on tomorrow. So I hope you'll tune in for another episode. Look forward to talking with you some more. My name is George Wright III, and this has been Daily Mastermind. Have a great day.